I think you should live your life to the fullest. I say there's three ways you meet people. One is absolutely through online dating. Another way is absolutely you have to build, what is your village? A lot of times people, they wake up and they just do the same things every day. But you have to always be building your village of things that you enjoy doing so that then you can meet somebody organically doing what you enjoy doing instead of peacocking and posturing up at some bar or restaurant. You see what I'm saying? And the third way is telling friends, absolutely telling friends, hey, I want to get married one day. I'm ready to settle down. Sometimes we take advantage of, oh, we think that everyone knows if we want to engage and we want to date. No. So do those three things. Yeah. A lot of times it's singles, especially if it's a fresh type of situation, whether you've been dating a month or three months. As women, we expect things. We expect the flowers. We expect candy. We expect to be taken out for Valentine's Day. And honestly, I think those expectations will get all of us into a big amount of trouble. Why? Because men don't give their emotions very quickly. They don't give that emotional headspace to um, anyone very quickly. So as singles, I believe that when Valentine's Day happens, we all, no matter if we've been dating a person one day, one week, two months or three months we're all expecting something i think that gets us into trouble because expectations when you're getting to know someone that's not good i believe that you know people have their certain times to where they can they come around and it may not be in the one month one day or three weeks that you want so instead of making the choice to say oh well he or she didn't do what i wanted them to do they didn't give me candy or they didn't give me a card or take me out to dinner just a mat, just say happy Valentine's Day. I always say women, show up like a flower. Pick whatever your favorite flower is, so mine is a rose. So when you engage, just say happy Valentine's. And I tell you this, men will go, wow, mm, I didn't give her anything and she didn't, you know, she didn't get an attitude or, you know, she didn't get, uh, she didn't say anything negative towards, oh, I, well, I would have wanted something for Valentine's Day. And that will resonate with him because what that tells him is that you're not in the business of mommying or ex expecting certain things from him until, honestly, he's really willing and able to give them to you. I should say willing. Able doesn't matter. Willing to give them to you. And I, I believe that if women do that, then they will respect, the man will respect them more even when they give it. Um, yeah. I think sometimes people, uh, I think sometimes for Valentine's Day or anytime singles, they hold on too long. Okay. I think, um, I think there's strength and I get this from my mother, there's strength in knowing when to move on. And sometimes I, I believe that we stay in relationships too long. Not a breakup, but really, because I don't tell people what to do, but what I do do is give them something to think about.